On today's Health Watch, we just want to recognize some incredible people that help us every single day. Yeah, there are millions of emergency visits every year, so we want to celebrate ER Nurses Day by honoring one. Yeah. Dylan Duran is a Health <laughs> One ER nurse. Thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah, thank you guys for having me. I know you're busy, <laughs> yeah. um, but first, what inspired you to go into nursing? Um, I really just wanted to get away from a boring desk job, and I wanted to do something <laughs> exciting and like make it seem... Or, feel like I was actually helping people, which we do every single day. And just to make someone's worst day of their life a little bit better is really awesome. Yeah, so I would imagine that this job is now rewarding. What mm -hmm. does a day of an ER nurse look like for you? Oh my God, there, you can't pinpoint a single day. It's, it could be super crazy from the moment you walk in, um, and it most of the time is, but you know, we're dealing with traumas or people that just come in and are incredibly sick, people that don't have very good healthcare in their own lives and therefore get to a point where they have to come to the hospital because they don't like get that, medical attention they need before having to come to the hospital, unfortunately. Having to see that every single day, how do you take care of you? Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> you could ask every nurse. They're a little bit, you know, <laughs> a little bit not right, but we all trauma bond <laughs> together and we help each other out. Um, you know, I try to work out when I can and spend time with friends and family. Yeah, so mm. there may be people watching that may be interested about going into the nursing profession, right? So mm. what do you love about being specifically in an ER environment? I imagine mm. that's it's busy all the time. <laughs> um, I mean, obviously the adrenaline that comes with it, that's still exciting to me, you know? I'm sure I hope that lasts a long time because that's the most fun part of it. Um, and then the people that I work with in the ER are some of the best people ever. They're all very fun and just not afraid to be themselves outside of helping with like all these crazy situations. We come back and we end up becoming really good friends with each other. In the midst of the craziness and the trauma, as you explained, how do you connect with patients in their time of need? Because like you said, this is the worst <laughs> day of their life, probably. I mean, two parts to that. I mean, I love to make my patients laugh if I can, then they can feel comfortable <laughs> and they can trust me a little bit more. I'm as honest as I can. And honestly, you just have to act like you care. I mean, that's serious because it, like, you can, you really do. If they see that, then they like that. and. It's a, I say act, it sounds bad, but if you really take on their emotions and all, the, and all their traumas that they're coming in with, it yeah. can really affect you badly. Yeah. So you have to keep it separate and compartmentalized, but as long as you're there for them. Yeah. That's Dylan, we only have about like 30 seconds left, but talk yeah. about your path real quickly. You mm. went from a boring desk job, you're working in accounting, <laughs> right? Yeah. So was it easy for you to transition into to nursing or was it was it hard? Still uh, for me, that? it was easy because it's <laughs> like I should have been doing that the whole time, okay. you know? Okay. Um, but I, for some people, they might have the opposite path where they go through what I'm going through and then and they get to a point where they need to get away from that. So it's, you know, you'll know when you know. It's it's really fun. Well, it yeah. takes a special person. You're definitely special, Dylan. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you for what you do. We mm -hmm. appreciate it. Yes. Uh, if you want to uh, see this interview or our other Health Watch interviews, you can just go to our website, cbscolorado.com. All right, let's get a check on the weather, shall we, with uh, Dave Aguilera. Hey, Dave.